I don't know if this is a new venture or something that y'all done for a long time or just how did y'all come about getting into the meat business? Um, well, we've always sold halves, holes, and quarters off the farm to people. And last year during the pandemic, when the meat shortage kind of come about, we started selling it, you know, by the cut. And we still sold whole halves and quarters, but uh, we started doing that, and it was really responsive um, doing that. And, you know, people seem to enjoy the meat, and it just gets better and better every time we do it. So well, I can tell you this. The, I got two ribeyes, and I'm here to tell you, uh, well, I don't have to tell you. I, I got that Father's Day special because that is that is some good meat, tender. Boy, it's good. And y'all, you you raise the cattle there, but in then you have another company process it for you. We that, do. We do. A good friend of mine um, actually just recently purchased a uh, processing facility in South Pittsburgh, and it's the largest in the state of Tennessee. They process more cattle than anybody, and they do pigs. And why well, I just dropped off two yesterday. Um, and uh, so what we do, we raise them there at the farm, and a lot of what goes into that is uh, the bulls that don't make it to be breeding bulls. We just use them as uh, the, the free feeder calves. Mm -hmm. And so most of the time what you're eating is actually a registered black Angus animal uh, that just didn't meet our specifications for, for bulls. And it actually helps us because it makes our bulls uh, that much better, so we're off, we're able to offer bulls that are you know a, even a higher quality because we're we have a way out for them besides just taking them to the stockyard. Well, I can tell you one thing: I'm, the the two ribeyes that I ate were I, I I ate them both. I cooked one one night and one the next night. My wife doesn't really like s solid meat yeah. like that. She likes hamburgers yep. and things like that. So uh, I got both the steaks. <laughs> I didn't share them with nobody. The only other person in the family was my, my son-in-law, and uh, I, told, I did tell my daughter that he could have one, but he didn't get there quick enough, and I cooked it for myself. Yeah, don't wait too long, you'll eat it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you don't come and get it when I tell you you can have it, it's gone. But I really, the way that y'all have it processed and stacked in there, you've got everything under the sun. Yep. I, I believe it's... Father's Day special that you had, there was ribs, uh, steaks, hamburger meat. And, and on yours, I actually, uh, I pulled out a couple of different and actually gave you a little bit more variety. I brought you some, uh, they're called Korean style ribs and they take the short rib and uh, they cut it long ways. And it's kind of like the, uh, the ribs that you get on top of fajitas at the Mexican restaurant. All right. So I brought you some of those and they're fantastic. You put some uh, kind of Mexican spices on them and everything, and they they eat up real nice. They're almost as good as those ribeyes. <laughs> I'm gonna, is, them ribeyes gonna be hard to yeah, beat. Yeah, they're, they're hard. They're, they're our best seller. I sell out of them. I don't have to advertise those. People, people, people just call people, back people hunt, they, Yeah, they're on a list for them pretty much. <laughs> well, one thing I want you to do is tell everybody your phone number. If they, if you, if anybody out there want to buy some good meat, call Nick. Cause I mean. It's un, it's unreal, and I'm I'm not sure what number you use for people to call to order. We so. use we use my cell phone. It's six one five eight one two eight five nine nine, and you didn't tell them nothing about the new event center we just built either. No, no, that's something. Else. Well, I haven't been in there. I've yep. seen them up there getting ready for a wedding. Yes, but you, how often do y'all rent that? Every it's open twenty four seven. Yep, it's uh, we actually we uh, had a wedding last weekend. We have a quinceanera this weekend. Uh, and it's just bam, bam, bam. It's starting to book up every weekend this year. I got a suggestion. Trainer's banquet. Hey, bring them on. <laughs> hey, that would be good. It's a yep. good, good place out there, and we don't have to wait for the train. Lots of room, too. You know, there's no train out yep. there, so we can all get in there. And it, it is big. I did go in there the day I was looking for you, and there was a bunch of ladies in there. They was getting ready for a wedding or something. Oh, yeah. I, I felt very out of place. Yeah, I don't didn't see any yeah. guys nowhere. Well, and don't stand around. They probably put you to work. <laughs> well, I, I didn't wait long enough. I just uh, said, if y'all seen Nick, and they said he's over yonder, and I was gone. <laughs> so it didn't last long. But that's something else. So they need to just give you a call. You can book the event center, or you can sell them some steaks. Sell them some steaks, sell them a cow, sell them a horse. We'll, we'll get them taken care we'll of one way or the other. We'll get you taken care yeah. of at Pleasant Valley. Yep.